Thanks. And you are, you're saying you've been hearing from a lot of concerned clients and businesses over oh. this. Yeah, in particular, hosp the hospitality sector. <clears throat> I've been t talking to um, one of my clients this morning, uh, the owner of uh, two prestigious restaurants in the West End of London. And the hospitality uh, sector is, is really taking a hammering. They're really at the forefront of all of this. Um, of course, the news a couple of days ago in terms of curfew, uh, that means reduced operating hours, which means reduced revenue. And, of course, they're trying to be nimble about this and starting uh, dinner service early, etc., etc. But in Inevitably, um, that this is a problem for them, and I've, I've already received reaction to the uh, to the scheme, the job support scheme. What is it? Uh, well, <clears throat> they're looking at the detail of it, and they're saying pretty much that it, <clears throat> it's not a great help to them in the circumstances. Why? Well, because the burden of cost is still on the employer, um, in a sense that. Um, the employer is paying reduced wages, a third for, uh, at least a third for employees that they are retaining. But then the balance is going to be shared of the, um, of the, the hours not worked, uh, and where, um, salaries increase to meet those hours between the government and the employer. And it's simply money that the employer doesn't have, that the hospitality business doesn't have right now. They're already reeling. And so, um, whilst any help that the government can provide is, of course, welcome, um, the question is, does it go far enough? And the feedback I'm getting, the early feedback I'm getting so far is it doesn't, no. Thank you for joining us live on LBC News. Uh, good to talk to you. Julian Cox is an employment law expert partner at the national law firm BLM. Where the news never stops. News never stops. News never stops.